Wow. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that nobody's been waiting for. My first ever ride on an electric bike. And uh, as you can see, I'm wearing grey, as I thought that that'd be a great way of checking the sort of perspiration of my body. Um, so as you can see right now, we've got zero uh, sweat, zero perspiration, uh, which I think so far is a really good sign that this bike is is phenomenal. Um, and I'm, I'm only less than two minutes away from my house and I'm already sold. Um, anyway, so here we are, my first ever e-bike ride. Now, I'm going to have to be honest with everybody. Um, I've worked in the bike industry for uh, six or seven years and during that time I've seen e-bikes take off, you know, from the early ones with the big batteries, really bulky and heavy looking. And I think initially from those early bikes, I decided I didn't want any part of it. And as time's progressed, technology's progressed, bikes have got a lot better. And now I'm kind of open to the idea more. So I've been very lucky to get one of these. It's over there. Just turn your hand. You probably couldn't see it, but it's a Focus Sam Squared e-bike. And uh, as you can see, still no perspiration. Uh, and I've ridden up quite a big hill or two. And uh, yeah, let's take a close look at this bike though, shall we? Insert cheesy voiceover. Okay guys, here it is, Sam Squared e-bike. As you can see, a little bit of shadow left in for artistic effect. I added some hook it crank protection just to keep those things fresh along with a set of our frame protection kit too. This thing's pretty much out of the box as it is. Um, I also added a set of DMR death grips. The thing is dripping in Shimano XT. Fox 36 forks on this bicycle along with a 12 speed cassette. Like I said, it's pretty much fresh out of the box. I've not really done anything to it. And that's it for this week's voiceover action, thank God. So I've ridden over to some local trails, which are approximately six or seven miles from my house. Normally, it's a decent ride, a lot of hills. Um, and well, as you can see, zero perspiration. And uh, so far, this thing's an absolute dream. So living the dream, really. So, I'm about to ride my very first e-bike trail. And this thing's pretty mellow. It's got a few jumps in it and stuff like that. And I'll be honest, this is the sort of riding that I'd, I've always been kind of nervous about with an e-bike, thinking that it's gonna be heavy, clunky, um, maybe not turn as well. I don't know, all, all those things. So I'm gonna strap this GoPro on my head and take a run down pretty mellow pretty chill and just see how this thing handles and see what the deal is uh, let's go
I've just ridden my very first e-bike trail and uh, first impressions 10 out of 10 solid 10 out of 10 uh, bear in mind I've done absolutely nothing to this bike I've just jumped on it set everything um, so sort of suspension wise just in the middle uh, and then now I'm just going up this climb that normally I absolutely dread this climb you know we all have them just dread them so we're going up it easy so I've just ridden up a climb which I usually hate hate that climb um, and I've just ridden up it no problem um, not much perspiration if any I'm a little bit out of breath but obviously you're still pedaling uh, you're just getting a little bit of assistance up the hill but super surprised how easy that hill was um, normally a couple of runs of this before heading home and I, it, for me it'd be like a pretty good ride uh, but obviously with this I can just go and do another 50 runs so that's a winner in it um, all right keep riding Okay, at this point, I know you're all gagging for it. So perspiration update. So far, not a lot of perspiration. Uh, it's quite a hot day. It's probably 25 degrees. Uh, we're in the woods, kind of humid. But so far, you know, a little bit, little, little bit sticky. But um, like I said, normally I'd be, I'd be, I'd be blowing by this point. So perspiration update. We're good. The first time I had sex, I was coming home on a train and I remember this, this feeling of you're a man now it's almost like the same as when you first learn to drive when you go out for a drive in your car you don't really know where you're going but you just want to go out in it I feel like that with this bike I feel like I've crossed over to the other side I used to think it was the dark side but maybe it's not Maybe it's not the dark side, maybe it's the bright side. Um, and I, I can't stop looking at her, look at it. What a view. So I'm just gonna have another minute here, thinking about losing my virginity. <laughs> then I'm gonna go and do a bit more e-biking. So um, let's check in at the top of another trail.
Right, so, been out for about two hours, 25 minutes. Perspiration is, there isn't any, which is good. Um, ridden six downhill trails, six climbs, uh, along with getting here, which was six miles. Battery update is this. See it? Um, not gonna lie, I have time anxiety and battery anxiety, uh, just from having a business and always being sort of on call. So as soon as the battery starts getting here, which is th three bars out of five left, my brain's going, probably head home. But in all seriousness, it's probably got tons and tons of battery left. Um, so yeah, last trail and then head home. Let's go. see you see now this is a bit of a problem because doing this is everything that I really used to dislike about e-bikes to get home from those local trails I usually come along the Chesterfield Canal yeah it's as nice as it sounds stunning bit of uh, natural tourism I don't know um, so hey up usually I'd be coming along here on my bike pedaling away and some e-biker will pass you real fast and uh, it always used to really piss me off and now I'm, I'm doing that I guess you know I'm steady 25 kilometers an hour and I'm just just chilling really perspiration still low I think hopefully someone can validate that in the comments I think perspiration is still low and I feel good you know usually by this point be a little tired after one of those rides like that um, but I'm fine so yeah I'll keep thinking we'll check in towards the end of this canal in about five or six miles so all right sit tight ladies and gentlemen we'll be right back don't worry see told you it's beautiful here stunning Tourism mode. It's kind of like that Peter K bit from years ago. Garlic, bread. It's like that being on one of these. You just like electric bike. Electric bike. And I, and I know most people out there, you've caught up. You're onto it, but I've dismissed this for so long that I feel a bit stupid. I feel a bit stupid, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck it, I'll say it. I feel a bit stupid that I've not even entertained this side of biking before. Um, there you have it. Newsflash. You know, a wise man once said, don't knock it until you've tried it. And on this occasion, I think I've been knocking it for a long time and I am glad I finally tried it. I'm looking forward to riding this thing a lot more in the coming future. Coming future, in the future. And uh, dialing it in a little bit better, playing around with suspension and going out and exploring some awesome terrain in the Peak District. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you probably didn't, but like and subscribe anyway. And uh, we'll be back with a few more terribly edited, terrible sound videos soon. Right, let's wash this. Let's wash it.